some fun. It's all about kicking it old school and having some fun with some games in the backyard. So, Carson, you do this all the time. You brought a couple of games that we're going to DIY and then play. The first one being Yardzy. I love <laughs> yeah, Yardzy, which is a take on what? Well, it's take on Yahtzee. Yeah. Have you ever played Yahtzee as a board no. game? No. Okay, so this is going to be fun for you because okay. it's something new. What I'm trying to do is get people outdoors doing more fun activities away from screen time. All right. these studies are coming out about kids and how much screen time they have. It's brutal. It's scary. Mm -hmm. So these are some games that have been reinvented for our market, but also more just get out and play and have fun for yeah. under $5. Okay, okay I like so that. you do not need to spend a lot of money. Mm -hmm. So the idea of Yahtzee was you'd throw dice and you'd collect groupings. So if you got a five of a kind, you'd mark down your five of a kind, but there's also math involved. So if you've got five sixes, okay. you'd have to add up all the dots and count it up and add it to your score and, and keep going. Also so, good for the brain. Exactly. Right? So this, this particular one's called Yahtzee. And what I love about it is you can go online, and we have it on our CityLine website as well, the link. Uh -huh but all the instructions and all the downloadable stuff is available. Okay, okay? good. So everybody can do this. So here's the scoreboard. So you yep. keep the score sheet. Right. I would shake my dice. Yeah. And I would throw them out onto the lawn. Go so for it. I would go like that. Woo! Right. Hold Fun. on, let me get my calculator out. Okay. <laughs> so, but, but you wouldn't count everything, Tracy. <laughs> okay. You only count the pairs, the groupings. Yeah. So in this case, I have a pair of ones. Yeah, so a pair of ones is useless. two. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> it's absolutely useless. But again, it doesn't make it so obviously easy. Like, it's got to be fun for the kids and right. fun for the adults. So to make these are really simple. All I did was use a 4x4 four four piece of wood. Okay. And I cut into squares. The trick is 4x4 four four is not actually 4 inches by 4 inches. Oh, it isn't? It's only 3.5 inches by 3.5 inches. So when you do your measurement to get a perfect square, yeah. you have to go 3.5 inches. I did them all by 4, and I had all these rectangles. Oh. I'm like, yeah, that didn't really work very well. Yeah. That's a good tip. Very simple tip. Then, of course, you want to sand off the edges, because yeah. you can see how rough that is, right? For sure. So I just used a little Orville sander. Yeah. You can do it with sandpaper, but this is fast, right? Yeah. And it gives you... I love that your hair's getting a Beyonce treatment. Right? Quick and easy. Whoops, turn that off. You can see just in a matter of seconds I was able to rub off the corners on this. Absolutely. Okay? Next step, obviously. This is the fun part. And I'm going to let you do this. Thank you. Make your dice. Okay. So you can put in the spots. Now, if you're a little OCD like me, mm -hmm. you're going to want to do them absolutely perfect. Oh. <laughs> so I measured it all the spots no, and everything. No, I don't care. If you have kids involved, <laughs> if you have kids involved, they can do any images on any side of the dice that they want. They can right. get creative with this and have some fun with it. Okay. Literally, the cost of this. So this bucket was a reused bucket. The label itself, I downloaded online. Oh, and you made that. Yeah. Okay. Just, I used it from something that actually came in there. Cool. My piece of wood was four dollars because it was a piece of scrap. Yeah. So I'm under five bucks. I'm done. Amazing. And yeah. this part of it is part of the playing of the game. Yeah. Like when they're making the stuff, I mean, this is going to prolong the whole thing. Make your own dice and Make customize it. Make your own dice it. and customize so it. So what we're starting to see more and more people doing is taking these to backyard barbecues as hostess gifts. Right. So you can make oh, it smart. and then take it and say, yes. here, this is for you and your family. Now you can play yard see all summer long. That's so cool. I love that one. All right. You, you have another game. One? Yes. I have another one. So this one's called Flimsy. Okay. All these great names for outdoor I games. It makes it. it so much better. Did you just make this up No, yourself? we didn't. There's okay. actually Okay. Okay. So I'm going to give you to hold the Frisbee. Yeah. Basically, Flimsy is such a simple game. You're going to take a dowel like this. Yeah. You're going to stick it into the ground, and you're going to put a plastic cup on top. Oh, that's it. That's it. Okay. But it gets a little more complicated than that. Right. So what happens is, and I'm going to just put it in here because i got a pail of gravel. Stick it down in there so we can play some Flimsy, you and I. Okay. And okay. you're going to move the bucket back? Yeah. So I'm going to move this bucket back to the edge. Put it over here. Okay. And I'll move your bucket over as well. So you want these, your dowels, about 25, 30 feet apart. Because yeah. what you're going to do is you're going to fling the Frisbee at it. Okay? The idea is, I'll put that there for you. All right. As adults. Yeah. You're supposed to play this with one drink in your hand. Okay? <laughs> Because you're supposed to make it a little tougher. It's not supposed to be super easy. With kids, yeah. obviously, you just want them to have fun. For sure. The idea behind Flimsy is yeah. you're going to fling the Frisbee and try and hit the dowel. All right. Okay? Yep. Let's see if you can do it. I missed the first three times. Okay. So, perfect. All right, yeah. I love that you hit it on the first time because I completely missed the first time I you threw. Probably, yours were probably farther apart, though. No. Um, oh. uh, no. <laughs> But, okay, so here's the rule of the game. Yeah. You hit the dowel, I didn't catch the cup. Right. You get a point. Oh, got and it. And technically, I'm supposed to drink. But I did. for summertime, fun, you know, you don't have to play with the alcohol. You can just yeah. have some fun with this. So you got a point. Now I have to get the frisbee and I try and hit your dowel. You want to go for it? No, because I'm going to miss again. Uh, I'm going to miss. I miss try every it, time. I'm going to try and catch. And I play ultimate. Whoa! 
One, one. Sure, one, okay, one. so here's the deal. Let's okay. say you have kids and yes. you have more than two in the family, you know, yeah. odd numbers. It's one poll per family member. So you can have okay. a few and you can have three okay. on one side and two on the other and everybody's lined up with their poll. Yes. So it makes it more fun when you throw the frisbee and you hit the cup. Yeah. You don't know who's you're going to hit. And to be honest, I throw half the time. I have no idea where I'm even aiming. <laughs> so the cups go flying. <laughs> and because they're literally plastic red solo cups Fine. and a dowel, again, yeah. you're under $5. Super easy. Take this camping with you. Take it picnicking. Uh, use it one time. Burn the dowels in the fire. Off you go. Oh my gosh, I love that idea. So simple. Everything you get to use, right? You made it yourself and then you use it later on in the fire. We will play this game in our house. It's an easy in the one backyard, to do. We will play this game. Yay. So thank you very much for that.